Hello and welcome back to One Train Reverse the World Season 4, where last time I decided that I wasn't going to proceed and sue that Team Galactic Grunt because, I mean, honestly, he's just doing everyone a favor by blowing up the Great Marsh. But then it occurred to me, no wait, if I don't pursue him, I won't be able to progress the game. So fine, even though for once I actually feel like giving Team Galactic a freaking medal, I still am going to have to stop them. Oh, what do you know, I can literally just run past him. <laughs> but unfortunately, I'm pretty sure if I, don't f if I don't beat them, I won't be able to get Surf. And if I don't get Surf, I won't be able to go to the next town. If I can't go to the next town, I can't go to the Pokemon League. Oh, hi, William Shatner slash David Tennant. Oh, damn it, I said it in the wrong order, whatever. Hello, my friend. The cargo that the Team Galactic bought is worrisome, so I have come. You say the cargo. It was a bomb, and there was an explosion. The explosion was at the Great Marsh. Furthermore, you are pursuing a man. A man with funny bowl cut hair in an outfit, an outfit that is very strange. In other words, that is the Team Galactic. Oh no, no, no. How did I miss it? Ah, looker, this time. You have made a mistake for the ages. The man who I have seen running away, he was the bearer of the bomb. Ah, this will not do. Wait, wait, I say. Well, that was meaningful. Hmm, and there he was asking people there, do I have to listen to what he said or can I just progress? Looks like I might be able to just progress. Oh, for goodness sakes, just let me beat you up already. I mean, it's bad enough that I, ha that I keep having to try and foil you when as far as I'm concerned you did something good, but don't just drag it out so much. Maybe I ought to switch Korra out of the front right now, though, as I do believe she is now the strongest thing I have in more than one way. You know, I don't think you running really affects your Pokémon's ability to battle. But apparently, according to your logic, it does. Oh, hi, Cynthia. Oh, hello. Long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but... Well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there's an island inside the lake. And inside that island is a mirage of a Pokémon. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokémon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. Go. Where'd that galactic goon run off to? Huh? Is this your older sister? No, she isn't. Oh, okay. Stop talking! Seriously, it is annoying to, mm, to make your voice, so stop talking! Thank you. He's your friend. He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? So, getting back to what I was t to what I started saying earlier, have you seen the group Psyduck on route of Have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? 210. Yes, that's right. By the cafe on Route 210. You've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their uh, hands. Anyway, what you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokédex, so it should be wor would be worthwhile for you. Oh, and in that route I am going to need defog, aren't I? I went on a big adventure with a Pokédex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokémon there is to see. It may help you with the secret of the Mirage Pokémon. See you later. Yeah, I remember that area up there. There is fog. I will indeed need defog. 
to properly navigate it. Or I mean, I can navigate without it, but then I'd have reduced accuracy for every single battle I'm in. Which would be a pain. And I don't want to have to deal with that. Huh, I guess I had not fought this guy before. Well, it's understandable that you'd sense the presence of a trainer for a while, being that... I mean, the game would have expected me to fight you ages ago. But I didn't fight you ages ago. Also... Have I not gotten rid of Korra's Bite? At the same time, though, I'm 11 levels above this thing. I don't think it really even matters what I do. So I'm going to use the most powerful attack... Oh, damn it, levitate. So I'm going to use the most powerful attack that I can actually use on it. I suppose Aqua Tail actually deals more damage than Earthquake would have even if it didn't have levitate. And now I should remember to actually change what's at the front of my party. Right, as for what I want to actually put Defog on, I suppose it'll have to be John Smith. It's either him or Norbert, I guess, but... Eh. John Smith also already has Fly, so... I saw that I could have put it on Maka as well, but... Eh. I don't want to waste move slots on Pokémon that I am actively using. And John Smith, you are not actively being used. Right, here we have the Psyducks that Cynthia was talking about. The Psyducks are cured of their chronic headache. I thought Psyducks literally only ever had chronic headaches, that it was literally a part of their biology pretty much. Oh good, you used the secret potion I gave you. Psy Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches. No one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while. Well, yes, but I don't think I'm actually allowed to catch any of them. Now... Up in this area here is where I can get the Shadow Ball TM, but I think I might need Rock Smash to access it. So, that's going to be terrible. Oh look, it's a Chansey. Well, I suppose I can just punch the crap out of this Chansey and get a lot of experience. I would have gotten a lot more experience if it was a, if it was a stronger Chansey, but still. Well, that could have turned out awfully. I could potentially run from this, but at the same time... If I fail to run from this... Ah, oh, but it's so much below my level that I'm going to be able to run from this. Still, that was scary. And just one level before um, before Armstrong was going to evolve into his final form too. Because that's one thing I do know about how trade evolutions work in this, in this slight hack here. The ones that just evolve by trade with no other particular conditions will instead evolve at level 37. And here we have the foggy area, where I need to use the most pointless HM ever. Like, seriously, Game Freak, had you not caught on to the fact that people don't like AGMs yet at this point, what possessed you to go, Hey, let's just make another AGM that's basically useless in battle. That'll be a great idea. Because, by the way, I disagree. I don't think that is a great idea. In fact, I think it's kind of an awful one. You again look like an ace trainer, eh, and I'm going to have to fight you, aren't I? You are indeed an ace trainer. 
So, this could be terrifying. Because that is a thing that ace trainers just inherently are, but ah, uh, that's not going to be particularly terrifying at all. Karate chop. Oh dear. And that was a critical hit. Oh dear again. Oh well. Goodbye, Apom. Now. Not gonna evolve yet. And that is a giraffe rig. I don't want to deal with that either. Marco can probably deal with that. I think. Or... Is her one bug move actually any good? Apparently it's not very good. Actually, would Slash be better? I think that was a critical hit. That was not a critical hit. In any case, with how low its HP is now, I suppose a Slash will take it out. Unless this Ace Trainer uses a Hyper Potion, which... Nope. And now Armstrong will get more strong arms. Oh, now that I can handle. So I still want to heal up first. And now hopefully... No wait, why would this thing have Ice Beam? It's a Grass Ground type, it's not going to have Ice Beam. It's going to have Curse instead. Mm. In which case it would have been nice if I had a special Ice move. But I don't have a special Ice move. I have a physical bug move. Which will take it out in another... Or maybe it won't, and maybe this is going to be terrifying now. Come on, Maka, score a critical hit. Oh, wait. Air Slash or Wing Attack would have been equally effective, and it's probably a stronger move, so that was dumb of me. Oh, well, I still won. What? Armstrong is evolving! Which is something that in a legit game wouldn't be happening like this, but if I was playing on a legit cartridge, he would have been a Marchamp ages ago, because I would have just traded with my Soul Silver cartridge. And that's a duo of Ace Trainers. I am not feeling very comfortable with that. So I'm going to walk past them. And another Ace Trainer, of course! And then he turned to look at me just as I was about to reconsider what I had at the front of my party. Mm. Cora. Absolutely Cora. Also, I just looked up on the internet what it would take to accomplish various trade evolutions here and found that if I just give Maka a metal coat, she will evolve into a Caesar when she levels up, but I'm not sure I necessarily want a Caesar. I mean, it still has the same base stat as Scyther and just its typing is different, meaning that its strengths and weaknesses would be different and it's slower, so I don't know. Would it be a good idea or would it not be a good idea? I'm not sure I feel safe with that thing, so I'm going to just switch into Bucket Man to see what happens then. This thing doesn't have Magnet Pull, does it? Well, it has some sort of electric move. I'm going to put it to sleep. Ah, well... Korra definitely is not a good good choice against this thing. I said I am going to put it to sleep. Did you not hear me? I am going to put it to sleep. 
Apparently, the game doesn't care what I want. Oh, this is going to be a pain of epic proportions. Do I have something that can heal para paralysis? Yes. Yes, I do. Good God, that was annoying! <sighs> and then you send out a thing that's only weak to ground moves, and the only ground move I have belongs to a water flying type. And it's using double team. You're just the annoying ace trainer, aren't you? Yep. Definitely the annoying one. And just considering how many times that probe will pass, just, mm, just paralyze me over and over again. I'm going to assume that this Luxio here will do the same thing. Mm. I'm... Kind of hating this battle, by the way. I mean, at the very least, that Luxio is on a timer now. It is going to die soon, but... Karate Chop, finish it off, please. This battle is so freaking obnoxious. Well, the freaking obnoxious battle is over, but man. Now I absolutely need to heal up, and then I need to buy a whole bunch of healing items. Okay, I think this should be a sufficient amount of healing items. 30 full heals, 30 hyper potions, 30 super potions. Man, does beating up billionaires pay off? And again, avoid the ace trainer duo. I don't want to have to fight those guys. Okay, that is not an ace trainer at least. And I reckon this is a battle that Bucketman should be able to fight just fine. Yep, I foresee a little trouble here. Though their levels are surprisingly close to my own. It's almost as if this game isn't horribly balanced or something. Yeah, well, your buff physique won't help you when you are fighting against a bucket. I don't know what him being a bucket has to do with anything, but... Yeah, buckets are immune to buff physique, do you not know? Oh, and another freaking ace trainer. And a ninja. But the ninja doesn't really scare me. So, whatever. I'm going to see if it's possible for me to avoid that, mm, that ace trainer. And then run into yet another ninja. Mm, if I'm not mistaken, that is where the, mm, their Shadow Ball AGM is, TM. But I can't get to it. So it appears I do indeed need to face yet another ace trainer. Can you tell that the prospect does not necessarily excite me all that much? Actually, even though I'm not planning on having John Smith be on my party in the future, I'm going to give him the uh, XP share anyway. Just in case I need him at some point. Which I might, should say... Oh wait, that is apparently not an ace trainer. 
But yeah, I might need a John Smith should say, Marka happened to die, which could happen in this battle against flying types, for she is weak to flying types. Thankfully, I have other things that can deal with flying types, such as my hideously overused water type. Oh, come on. Oh, double come on. Then I might as well just use Thunderbolt. Well, I mean, it's a hoot hoot. What is it going to do anyway? Die. That's what it's going to do. That did not provide insane amounts of challenge. How unexpected. Ugh. And you're probably a veteran, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. So you're basically another ace trainer. An ace trainer who leads with a Tangela. Ah, oh, well. I'm not gonna complain. I would just like to point out that I accidentally used Aqua Tail when I was going to use Thunderbolt. It was not very effective. And it did that. What the F? Well, this veteran actually wasn't a, tr a trouble at all. I think Air Cutter is a special move. Air Cutter is indeed a special move that is also less powerful than Wing Attack. So, meh. Alright. A new town has been reached. And now I can just immediately go back to where I was. And then get that Shadow Ball TM. Unless it was down there by the water, in which case it would have required Surf and possibly Waterfall to get to. But I don't think so. That was indeed the Shadow Ball TM. I am going to immediately give it to my extremely bulky Psychic type. In a way, I sort of feel bad for leaving out additions, but um, Bucketman is just so much more capable of surviving than additions is going to be. So, to me, it seems like a reasonable choice. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything here, but that, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying he will blow the town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. Um, I still don't see why being young is a requirement for punishing the spaceman with your Pokemon. I mean, if your Pokemon are old as well, then I suppose that's a problem, a problem, but... You can still tell your Pokemon to beat people up, even if you are old, you know? So, Galactic Grunt. I am going indeed to shut you down with a Pokemon battle. Not because I necessarily care about this town, but you see, unlike the Great Marsh, I don't have a grudge against it, and I do have a very vested interest in taking you guys down a notch. And so I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to take you down a notch. Well... That seems to have been extremely meaningful. Oh, you were magnificent, aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. No, oh, that old charm. May I see that there? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. 
This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity that is said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Well, certainly. I suppose I'm going to have to. Yep, this did indeed cover and um, trigger even more cutscenes. This cave's paintings mean the cave paintings meaning seems to be this. There existed beings, beings so powerful they were considered deities at the time. There are three Pokemon with power to match either being. The three kept balance with either being as they formed the pyramid. It's an ancient legend in Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I would like to know more about that legend, if you will. Who might you be? Just someone who is not important in any way. My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create an ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three Pokémon keep it in balance. Is that what you are saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. That's the first step. I will destroy this cave painting that you've protected all these years. A new legend of a world, new world should take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. I don't care, but I'm going to fight you anyway. I know you, traitor. We've met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Why I want to comp protect this incomplete world, eh? Because I hope to one day rule it. We seem to be at a we seem to be at a bit of an impasse here, Mr. Cyrus, sir. I want to rule this world as it is. You want to get rid of this world as it is to get another one in its place. But those two goals are incompatible with each other, so I suppose I will just have to beat the crap out of you. Wait, I would have sworn that that ice punch was going to be not very effective. Hmm. I need to get my type my type matchups straightened out. You know, very soon it's possible that I will be able to get an electric type. I shall appreciate that if I do get an electric type. Because having to rely on Korra to deal with all these flying types and such all the time is a bit annoying. Especially when she's doing it with a move that's either got less than 100% accuracy or which goes off her crap stat. my hand this time. Oh, come on! Well, I don't think it's going to do anything too terrifying to me. Considering our level difference and oh, critical hits! Sheesh! And come to think of it, I do believe this is one of those Pokemon that has like a super high critical hit ratio. And I think Drill Peck also has a high critical hit ratio. Not that it matters, because it's gotten its dead now, but meh. A bit disconcerting. A bit. Impressive. Your prowess is notable. Remarkable. But Elder. Your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they 
you can't be stopped. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh were filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people in Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. Excellent! Though, of course, I'm going to, to, to need to bring out something else to use it, other than Korra, because Korra will not be able to make good use of it. And it would require me to waste a move slot. A move slot that could be better spent with other things. Oh, hi, Cynthia again. Was everything alright here? You saw those strange people with the galactic bomb, didn't you? But those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress, and all their wild claims about making a new universe. I thought it was just silly talk, nothing to take seriously. But they're, surpr but they're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there's a library in Candleo City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up Sinnoh history there. It might help you complete your Pokedex too. The quickest way to Candleo is to go west from Jubilife City. Yeah, I do believe I shall do that, but... In order to get there, I am going to need to do some swaps for... Well, no. At the moment, I do actually have John Smith with me, so... But... And it occurs to me, last Friday, I forgot to go back here for my Drifloon. Ah, well. I will have to remember that even later. Because Drifloon could still be a good Pokemon to have. Now, to swim over here. Fuego Ironworks. This is a new place, which I have not been before. And as far as I know, there are two things that can be found here. Those being Magnemite and Magmar? Or something in its evolutionary line. Neither of them I would be opposed to getting. Though I'm kind of more hoping for the Magnemite, even though Magnemite has been really overused in these runs, but... See, it c Magneton can evolve in this game, so it would still be kind of a new thing in a way. Except it would literally just be the same old as Insidious and Enru, only stronger, but still. Which is it going to be? It's going to be a Magmar! Well, I guess I am once again deprived of an electric type. Ah, well. Quick Ball, which by the way, I bought off screen earlier. Oh, bugger. Now, what could I do to deal damage to this thing without outright murdering it? Uh, for a moment, I was a bit tense there by the whole, mm, by the whole critical mm, super effective thing, but of course, heat proof the ability which Bucketman has cuts the effect of fire moves in half, so it actually isn't that bad. And now I think he can't actually escape from this battle right now, so just gonna throw Ultra Balls. Success! So, his name shall be Ozai, just to go with, well, I mean, I don't really have an avatar theme here, but meh, it's fitting enough that, mm, that I would have Korra and then I would have Ozai, I guess, just because, well, Magmar seems like it would be a really strong fire type stuff. I am rambling. Hmm. Are there any benefits to me being right here? There does not appear to be any amazing benefits to me being here. So I'm just not going to. Will Vega make some amazing discoveries in Canlave City? Will she be able to defeat the gym there? And will Lord Starfish's internet prevent him from uploading another episode on time? 
find out next time.